Hi friends, do remember to hit the bell icon to get notifications from my channel whenever I upload a new video. Hey what's up YouTube and welcome to this brand new video. Today we'll be looking at MS Office PowerPoint for iOS. If you remember, this is a three-part video. In the first video, we spoke about Microsoft Office Word for iOS. If you haven't seen that video, I'll give the link in the description or in the i button on the top right corner to view the video. So let's get started with PowerPoint for iOS. When you first open Microsoft PowerPoint for iOS, you can either start creating your presentation with a blank presentation or you can choose from any of these templates. Remember, you have to have a Microsoft account to create and edit presentations. We have already signed into our account so we can start creating. I'm going to choose this main event presentation. You can see the layout is again very much similar to how Microsoft PowerPoint looks on a PC. So you have your home button, you have insert, you can draw, you can change your templates or format your slides, you can add transitions because presentation without transition is yuck. Or you can choose animations, you can choose your slideshow and you can also review. So let's start creating a presentation and we can look at the features while we create the presentation. So I'm going to be creating a presentation on cars that I like. So I'm going to do double tap and I'm going to type cars and I can say this as awesome. So I am actually on a iPad Pro so I can use its feature of sliding the screen from the right side and access my safari browser and i can choose images like cars and one tip that i want to give you so if you want images with no background in it what you need to search in google is cars.png or any image that you want and followed by png so you'll get a transparent image so i'm going to say cars png and i get many cars uh, that i can choose from so i like this one and you see the image is completely transparent from the background so you can put this uh, image on any slide and it will fit so i'm going to choose that and i hold it and say copy and i come back to my slide and i say new slide and now i don't want this layout of this slide this way so i click on layout and i choose from the kind of layout i want so i want a blank layout so i can tap and hold my finger and say paste I can resize the image. I can also insert text box. So I'll just place the text box here and double tap and write awesome car 1. And if I want to increase the font size, I just double tap and say select all and choose the font size that I like. So I like 54. Now you can also resize this box to make it fit. So now I'm going to create a new slide or even I can uh, duplicate this slide. So if I tap and hold I can duplicate this slide and now if I want to choose another image I can go back to Google and select this one hold to copy come back to my slide hold on the image delete this hold and paste that's how easy it is to copy images and paste in your presentations and I'll say this as card number 2 and I'm going to insert on the slide and I'm going to change the layout I want to say comparison and I say let's let's compare car 1 and I'm going to say car 2 and we're just going to quickly type feature 1 feature 2 you get the point right So now that I've created these four slides, let's add some transitions to these slides. So I go to the transition menu and I choose from any of the transition effect. You can choose fade. You can choose uh, any one that you like. You can say drape. You can also say this one. So now that we have created these four slides and added transitions to them, Let's have a look at the slideshow. To view the slideshow, go to the slideshow menu and tap on from start. Now let's have a look at some other features in PowerPoint. 
If you go to the insert menu, you can either insert a new slide, a table, photo from your photo gallery or you can also take a photo from your iPad's camera and you can insert that. You can also insert videos from your photo gallery. You can insert shapes and you can resize them the way you like it. And you can also insert text box as we've already seen. The draw menu, again, it's customized for the iPad. So you can choose any of the markers and do your scribbling. Design in this, you can choose any of the available themes which are there. You can choose the slide size. You can also format the background. Uh, transitions we've already seen, you can add transitions to your slides. Animations, you can add text animations. So let's tap and hold on the cars and add a text animation. So I'm going to choose one of the entry effects. So we'll say peek in and let's see how that looks. So we go back to slideshow and say from start. So if we tap, you see that text animation that comes. Slideshow, again, you can see your slideshow from the start or if you want to look at a specific slide, you can select from current and you can also have a presenter's view, but this is only available with the Office 365 pack. So if you want that, you need to upgrade to the Office 365. You can also review your slides Say comments if you want to add some comments uh, to your slides when you're doing a presentation that also can be done so if you want to save this presentation it's very much similar to how we saved the word document in our previous video so click on this arrow button on the top left corner and say save and you can rename your presentation say demo and you can choose any of the locations where you want to save this you can save it on your onedrive account or on this ipad itself so i'm going to say save and this presentation is saved so I can access this presentation at any given point of time and also share it with my friends by clicking on this button with a man and a plus icon. So you can either invite people to make changes to the presentation or even send them a copy. You can send them a copy like a PowerPoint presentation or you can also choose to send a PDF document. So that's how you create and edit uh, slides on PowerPoint for iOS. In our next video, we'll be looking at Microsoft Excel for iOS. If you've liked this video, do remember to hit the like button, comment and share this video with your friends and as always please subscribe to my channel, it means a lot. Thank you very much.